that doesn't even have to be 50% to actually make consistent money. That's what people can realize, too, that depending on, on what, the, what the ratio is between what you have to risk to find out if a trade is going to work and how much profit it generates when it does, you don't even need a 50% win-loss ratio. Right. I, as a matter of fact, I back in the 80s, there are, you know, uh, one of the most famous traders from the 80s, uh, Richard Dennis, on a percentage basis, 95% of his trades were losers. 95%. But the 5% that were winners were monsters. And he was able to take, he was able to put on trades at a, at a 95% loss ratio and make, in, in, at the most at one point, in, I think around 1987 or 1988, now, he had $400 million. Is that using his edge or his money management or a combombination of, of all of it. Okay.